Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try these real good entree bowls. This one, they're grain free. All the real food uh, stuff is grain free. It is 8 grams of net carbs if you care about that. 16 grams of protein if you care about that. This particular one is the chicken, I'm going to just say it, we'll go for it. Uh, chicken fra diavolo bowl. Who, who knows? I don't know. Uh, it is seasoned pulled chicken breast with hearts of palm pasta and yellow zucchini in a spicy fra diavolo sauce. Yeah, whatever. Um, it is nine ounces or 255 grams. It's gluten free because it has no grain. 300 calories for the bowl, which is not bad. Um, I bought these at Meyer, by the way. They were $4.99, um, but they are the grain free kind, so they, they are, tend to be a little more expensive. $4.99 at Meyer. Um, let's see, there's all your other information. There's a little description. Okay, cooking directions, microwave oven only. I don't see any other directions on here. So we're gonna uh, poke holes in the film. I like it, ventilate. Uh, poke holes in the film, microwave on high for three to four minutes. I'll probably do 3.30 just to be safe. Remove, cover, stir, and cook an additional one to two. I'll probably do one then. And let stand for one to two minutes in the microwave handle carefully. Check the food that it's cooked properly, blah, blah, blah. Okay. No pull tabs, I have to fight with it. This is why I like pull tabs. And I can't open it beforehand because that would just be too easy. All right, for those of you who like the comment that I should open it beforehand, that's too easy. Why would, you, why would I do that? So here it is. Um, oh, it's in a plastic wrap. I was expecting just a seal on top. So I'm going to poke some holes in there. It looks like it's got some good chicken in there. You would never know that it's not pasta. It looks like pasta. So uh, I'll be um, I'll be right back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I thought it was going to be really watery because we can still see there's quite a bit of water in the bottom. Um, and I, so I ended up microwaving it in an extra uh, 15 seconds. I was going to do it just a minute between minute and two minutes. I was just going to do a minute, but I ended up doing a minute 15 because I thought it would dry it out a little bit, and it did because there's a lot more water at the bottom uh, beforehand. So I'm going to let this cool off whoop, for a minute, and uh, then we'll be back. I looked up that that word that um, fra diavolo. It means if it, it's Italian and it means specifically brother devil or some other translation was between the devil. So it's it's supposed to be spicy. So it's a spicy sauce usually used on pasta or fish seafood, and um, it's uh, made out of peppers. And you can have and it's tomato based with peppers. And you can sometimes get the spice from other like high end and stuff that's not based on a tomato sauce, but that usually it's tomato sauce. So it's Italian. Who knew? So here's the bite I'm gonna take. It's got pretty much everything. It's got some chicken, it's got whatever that pasta is, heart of palm or whatever. Um, yeah. And the yellow zucchini, I'm assuming that's all mixed in here. Anyway, here we go. Definitely has some spice. I mean, whoo, burn the back of your throat, spicy. Um, the heart of palm and the zucchini, the pasta uh, replacement, you can tell it's a vegetable instead of like, a, it's not truly like a pasta. Um, it has a taste of like a zucchini. It's crunchy and flavored, almost like you would get in a Chinese like stir fry. Um, like those little bamboo shoots you, know, you get in stir fry. I like the bamboo shoots better, but this reminds me of the same kind of, uh, it's not quite as crunchy, but the flavors are somewhat similar. I don't know why, but they are. Not bad. If you can't have gluten, you want something grain free, I think it's a good alternative. It, it's got a decent um, texture and uh, the flavors aren't bad. Just know it does taste like a vegetable. The chicken's good. It's good. It has a lot of moisture to it. It's good and tender. After that first bite, I really haven't had anything that I thought was super hot. Um, that first bite was like really spicy in the back of my throat, but then everybody I've had after that's been perfectly fine. Overall, not a bad meal. It's not one I would necessarily buy again because I don't need grain free. I don't need, I don't have that dietary requirement. If you're looking for lower carbs, eight grams of net carbs, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm not on uh, keto or anything like that. Um, but if you're looking for that, then it's fine. For me, it's not a meal I would go for because it does have that very strong like zucchini vegetable kind of 
flavor to it. And there's there's some chicken in here, but not not enough to justify me eating the, the vegetable part. So um, I'm gonna give it though, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I do think it's it's good. It's it's definitely has some spice to it. Uh, if you don't like spicy food, of course, you wouldn't be getting something that, that had like the double word in it because uh, you know it's going to be spicy. But um, yeah, it's just okay for me. It's it's the vegetable part for me. If you need this for your diet, try it out. I think you'll like it. For me that doesn't need grain-free or gluten-free or whatever, um, I don't need that. So I don't need to eat it. So does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. I do think the flavors are pretty decent, although the vegetable flavor is really strong. But, uh, but if you don't mind that, then you might like it better. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.